Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Joy. And today I'm actually back in my hometown for the summer. Not really my hometown, but where I grew up. I was going through a bunch of junk that I had and guess what I found? I found my childhood iPod. This is an OG iPod I had when I was like nine. I absolutely wrecked it. It's like shattered and I may or may not have done that when I was like running like this and then it went like whee because I let go of it. Anyway, so today I thought it would be a great idea just to go through this bad boy, figure out the kind of stuff that I was up to when I was around 9, 10, 11, 12-ish. Stick around if you want to see me basically expose myself for the kind of person that I was as a young kid. After a lot of trial and error, I figured out my passcode so I can actually log in. And before I actually log in, I just want to show you guys my home screen. I was obsessed with anime and Don't fuck with me. the anime that I liked the most was Naruto. Basically, Kakashi, he's my thumb home screen and my <laughs> my lock screen is Itachi's eyeball. I was in love with Naruto and I still am. Watching Naruto just like brings me back to my childhood. So I feel like it'd be a fun and fresh time to go through my photos. You guys remember when the camera and the photo app look like that and like YouTube was like a box or something. In true younger me fashion, I had two folders in my camera app. Okay, I had the camera roll and then I had a separate folder like just for Naruto. This is what I looked like. That's some content that I... I'm serving looks. I'm gonna go all the way up to the top and just kind of go through these pictures. So the very first picture that I have on here is me posing with my birthday cake. And I think this is the same birthday that I got this iPod on. Oh, I have a picture of my little brother on here. Oh my god! Make myself feel better. Make myself feel better. Post. Challenge number two in the pyramid section. In the pyramid section. <laughs> I have a wonderful picture of me blowing a bubble. That's like bigger than I can get it today. This is where we transition from normal nine year old behavior to not normal nine year old behavior. Maybe it was like 10 or 11 at this point. So here's a little bit of backstory to. Um, <laughs> explain the pictures that are coming up. Basically what ended up happening was I got super into drawing and uh, I was really into like the Japanese style of drawing and I was like, boy, I am going to become a manga illustrator. And so I went onto Pinterest and I took screenshots of literally thousands of eyes and hair. It's about this time that I was enlightened to the beauty of something called anime. I have the power of God! And my favorite anime of all time as a young kid, as a young budding child, getting into this deep dark rabbit hole that I'm still currently in today, is I discovered and fell in love with- I think at the time it was on Amazon Prime and I watched the living crap out of that show. I would basically take screenshots of like really cool action poses or eyes or expressions and the reason i did that was because my mom would take the wi-fi off my ipod so i didn't get addicted and so i would take so many of these so that when i didn't have internet access i could sit down and draw them i actually have some pictures on here of drawings of naruto characters that i did we have naruto we have sasuke we have gara uh, and is that it? And I have a couple other pictures of my drawings. If I can find them, I'll insert them somewhere. Just scrolling through, you can see my preteen crushes coming through. Many, many, many pictures of Neji, who I thought was so cool because his eyes were like silver. And I was like, I want my eyes to be silver. He's so cool. I was like, yes, hit me up. Like, geez. And then lots of pictures of Gara because I thought Gara, 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 Gara. Because I thought his eyes were so cool. And he had like eye tattooed on his forehead. And I was like, oh. 
I have a lot of pictures of Kakashi Hatake, who I was like, Jesus Christ, he's hot. A hiccup from How to Train Your Dragon, because I thought he was amazing and funny and cool. And I liked dragons, so I was like, I have like a solid eight pictures of Jack Frost on here because Jack Frost was my bae. At a certain point, I started branching off from Naruto and I started getting into other anime. So I have some pictures of Soul Eater, Bleach, Fairy Tale. I was in love with Urza and Grey, Attack on Titan, Kuroko no Basket, Tokyo Ghoul. Oh, <laughs> I have some from Avatar's Last Airbender and some from an anime called Special A. And then a lot more, a lot more Naruto. And just to give you guys some perspective on how much just anime related stuff I have. I'm Michael Jordan. Stop it. Get some help. Okay, and it's about this time that I started branching off from anime and manga and taking a freaking deep dive into the wonderful world known as K-pop. <laughs> we have Lei, we have who's that Bakhyun? We have Luhan, who I also thought was so cool. <laughs> More Luhan. Uh is that Sehun? Se Se from BTS because he's still my ultimate bias. Um, we have some Leo from Vix, okay. Uh, oh, we have a student of the month award. We have some sexy, sexy Hobie dancing because I wanted to learn how to dance this. And then I also have some screenshots of the book, The Book Thief. I love that so much. I thought that Liesl and Rudy were so cute. I was like, ah, my, my middle school self could not. Let's go into my notes app. So we have some... <laughs> oh no. <laughs> we have some books on here that I tried to write. <laughs> um, we have one called Just a Day Ago. And the premise was... <laughs> the premise of this book was that there were two twins that got separated at birth. And then they were like, not like other girls. Because they had superpowers. I have one called Dragon Rider in Training. And I wrote this one around the time that I was reading, I think, Aragon. Let me just skim read this one and tell you what it was about. Okay, so this is basically a Cinderella story. Um, this girl who's like low-key abused by her family uh, yeets her way down to the capital and uh, defeat an evil king. Okay. <laughs> uh oh. Uh, we have one called Fear and Grief. This is um, about two ordinary twins again who are like, they're raised alone and their father isn't around. Oh my god, who is their father? I okay, you know what? Jeez, this hurts to read. I have an account of the different f flavors of berry bots. I was obsessed with Harry Potter. And then I have a shopping list. Why don't we go to my voice memos app? That's what it looks like. That's what the symbol looks like from way back when. And oh my gosh, does this like format bring back nostalgia for anyone? Because it brings back a lot of nostalgia for me. So I have some BTS recording songs on here that aren't supposed to legally be there. Reach out to tell you. I'll always wonder what you're up to. What's up? What's up? Who can swing and dance? What's up? Who can swing and dance? I was also addicted to Nightcore, so I have some payphone Nightcore. I have um, Angel with a Shotgun, which is such a throwback. If anybody else was into Nightcore, you'd know this one. This is like the most uh, famous nightcore on YouTube. Oh yeah, oh yeah, my nigga with a shotgun. My nigga with a shotgun. Get us your guns, get us your guns. You a saint or a sinner. Get us your time. With my heart on a trigger. Okay, anyway, that's by the cab. Uh, I highly recommend you guys go check that out. That is my childhood in a YouTube video. I uh, also have Fireflies Nightcore, I think. 
open air. Well, hello. I have just received the information. I am to be recording my session. Do excuse me while I carefully start my timer. Oh my gosh, I was so passive aggressive. What the heck? Basically, I was recording my practice session because my mom wasn't home to listen to me play. I'm playing violin. I also don't have a lot of recordings of younger me playing violin either. Um, but I didn't know that that existed. What the heck? That's so cool. Let me give you some backstory on my piano journey. I used to play piano. Actually, I used to play a lot of things. I used to play piano. Uh, I still do play violin, not as seriously as I used to. And I used to play oboe. So I was a really musical child. I'm surprised that I actually have these piano things because I used to delete a lot of them. I used to think that I sounded absolutely horrible. And so like just having them around with me was so embarrassing. Stop that one right there. I have song lyrics. Wow. Honestly, this is so cool. I was such an ambitious child. <laughs> this is a lot of exposing that I'm doing, but um, I just found a journal that I wrote in when I was a little kid and it's hidden in the calculator app. Okay, look, look. Calculator, yes, calculator. <laughs> Journal, can <laughs> Oh my god. Hi, my name is Joy. I might start taking notes here because there's little chance for my mom to think of finding a journal slash diary here. Yes, why would she find your journal slash diary in a calculator app? So if you need to vent somewhere, download this app, okay? It's called calculator calc m dot 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 free. And the logo looks like that. I thought I didn't journal. I actually kind of forgot about this until I opened it. Just scrolling through, I'm talking about anime. I'm talking about Sung Ha Jung. Uh, he's a guitarist on YouTube. I'm complaining about my mom. <laughs> uh, complaining about my dad. Complaining about... Oh, actually now I'm talking about K-pop. I'm talking about my discovery of Luhan. <laughs> Oh my god, this is so bad. Reminders used to be an app and I would give myself personal texts. And honestly, this is so wholesome. OMG, Naruto's birthday is coming up. Blood of Olympus is coming out October 7th. Sasuke's birthday. <laughs> Neji's birthday, Hinata's birthday. Naruto, Gara of the Desert, <laughs> Middle school joy, your crushes are coming out. OMG, Mockingbird is coming out in theaters. I feel like death face or possibly poop face. I hate being sick. Personal text, that's honestly so cute in my opinion. Music, why don't we go through my music? I don't have that much music on this iPod because I was a really cheap kid and I didn't want to buy anything. So I would just listen on YouTube. I have some songs from Yuruma. I have like Kiss the Rain. I have Maybe from Iruma because I used to play those songs and they have so much sentimental meaning to me. I have Hedwig's theme from Harry Potter. I have uh, River Flows in You, of course. Uh, Safe and Sound uh, from Taylor Swift. Wonderkind from the Chronicles of Narnia. 
Eyes Open, also Taylor Swift. Those two are um, from The Hunger Games. And I've Come Undone by Duran Duran. All right, I think I've basically gone through the whole thing. Um, that was everything that was in my childhood iPod. I did a lot of exposing. So what did you guys learn about me today? I used to be obsessed with manga and anime and low-key still am. Uh, I had giant childhood crushes on uh, Neji, Itachi, and Kakashi. Hiccup from How to Train Your Dragon. Jack Frost from Riders of the Guardians. I used to love drawing. I used to play piano and oboe. I don't have any oboe recordings on this. That happens a little bit later in my life. Um, I have some violin recordings on here. That was super cool. I was an aspiring artist. I was an aspiring writer. I was an aspiring song creator. And I was also an aspiring video maker. And that happens a little bit later in life. Uh, I think in... I want to say towards the end of middle school. So that was a little bit after I cracked this phone screen. But guess what I found? Does this look familiar to anyone? This is an iPhone 3. This used to be my mom's and then she gave it to me after I broke my iPod and then I shattered this one too. So sorry mom. Um, but I will go through this one in a future video if you guys want me to. Uh, leave it down in the comments below. Um, I'll see how this video does, and if it does well, then I'll ex do some more exposing, basically. <laughs> you guys will see more of what my young life used to be like. Another thing, quick thing before I go, I wanted to say, I know that I've been kind of making fun of who I was as a young kid, but honestly, I had so much vitality and just potential and genuine love for life and creating and that's not something that I think should be made fun of. Even though now looking back on it, it does feel a little bit cringy. I was very obsessed, but I had a lot of fun. And honestly, who cares what other people think about the things that you like and the things that you do and the things you wanna be. Just live your life to your fullest. Honestly, there's only so much of your own life. And if you live it wanting to make other people happy, there's just no time for that, you know what I'm saying? I think we can all learn a little bit from looking back on our previous selves. And definitely the choices that I made back then uh, in terms of what I looked at and listened to and loved definitely have um, had a really big impact on the things that I look at and love now. So, um, if you guys like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe if you like my personality or if you just relate to my young middle school self. Feel free to check out the rest of my content. I have some really cool, amazing, fun content. Thank you guys so much for watching. Yeah, I will hopefully see you guys in the next one. Bye!